Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at an all new smart tech, essentially a cyberpunk inspired power bank system. Now this features a 130 watt output, as well as a capability to take on an airplane, and it can go and charge up a MacBook up to 80% in 1.5 hours. So it's designed to go ahead and charge just about anything while looking cool. Not only that, it has a built-in LCD screen to give you a live output as you're using it. Now if you guys wanted your own, be sure to check out the link down below the description, and in this episode here we'll be unboxing it, trying it out, and seeing exactly what it can do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so this here is our Char Char Geek Storm 2 Slim. So I guess there is a bulkier version, but we got the smaller version designed to be, I guess, more portable. I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what's in here. Oh, cool. So it definitely has a, like, what is that, like a futuristic vibe to it? Yeah, cyberpunk, right? Cyberpunk inspired. That is really cool. So yes, definitely has a cyberpunk feel. Uh, obviously, they could have probably done a little bit more with the frame, but again, you know, it looks really cool. You got that like transparent display. I mean, that's that's like what's in it right now, being able to see what's inside. I know back in the day, the old school N64 controllers, the transparent cases were the coolest thing ever, and then it kind of faded out, but it's coming back in style now. And yeah, if you're looking for a power bank, <laughs> this is it. Now, I like the fact that already, I gotta say, it's cool because it has an LCD screen. Uh, you do have your USB-C port as well as a USB-A port. So you got two ports to go ahead and charge it. Um, I believe the input is also, yeah, the input is a USB-C, so you can charge it as an output or input based on what you're using it for. So we got our user manual. Uh, looks like we've got a case, and inside the case is a charging cable. A uh, yellow one, <laughs> pretty sweet. Now there is a button here. Let's go and press that and see what happens. One, two, oh, there we go, we're on. So it says, super power bank, sweet. So right now it's showing our input and output. So if you hold this button again, now this will take us to a different menu. So this will be our settings. So this will show our battery info. We press it again. Uh, this will show our temperature units. So you can go up from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Uh, and then you can go into the next menu, which is a timer mode. We also have our display mode where you can go ahead and essentially create the settings in terms of like display direction, timer, in terms of display off. And then of course you also have your power button too. So if you want to select this, all you have to do is hold the button down and this will go ahead and turn off the screen. It's that simple. Let's plug in your cable like this. Let's see what happens. All right, so we got ourselves a PS5 controller. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and plug this in here in the back. See what live output we get. There we go. Now we have an output of four watts. Uh, and again, it's kind of giving us an exact readout of what's happening. And that's, that's kind of cool, you know? Let's see if we can charge something else using the USB-A port. All right, so up next we're gonna go ahead and try charging our Pac-Man machine over here. So I currently plugged in the USB-A port and I'm gonna plug this in the back. And we have power! <laughs> so it works, so this little slim device can go ahead and power up an arcade machine as well as charge a PS5 controller all at the same time. And now that's only output of 4 watts, but it can go ahead and even go up to 130 watts, which is absolutely insane. So overall, a really cool design concept. If you're looking for something that is both futuristic and has almost like a cyberpunk feel, this here is definitely for you. And I really like the fact that it does have an LCD screen in there, kind of giving an exact live readout of exactly what's happening in real time. Now, with that said, if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. See you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.